Monday. BBC Radio Manchester. Right, let's do it. It's Manhunt with Chris Holiday and Emma Goswell. Think Treasure Hunt on the radio. What we do this time on a Saturday afternoon is solve cryptic clues. I say we, I mean you. And you've been very good at it this week. So, we're on clue number two and we've worked out that we're heading to Castlefield, Liverpool Road to Mosey, to Museum of Science and Industry. Em, how are you getting on? Very good. Can you still hear me, by the way? Yeah. Oh, good. Right, lovely. Uh, I'm in Mosey. Hey! I am here, but uh, it's a very big place, and I've got to find out exactly where I'm going. Okay. well, the Um, last line is, between two people can ignite a flashbang you can't miss. So between two people, it could be a spark, or it could be a chemistry between two people. Chemistry. You could have chemistry. If there's anything to do with chemistry. Chemistry or something to do with flashbang. Yeah, I'll just ask them on reception. Excuse me, have have you got anything to do with chemistry on at the moment? Where, sorry? Building number four. Building number four? Number four. Right. Okay, building How many four. buildings are there? So out here and through there. And there's something to do with sparks on, is there? Anything to do with Sparks, positive? flash banging, chemistry. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, year of chemistry celebration. You see, I think that's it. year of chemistry celebration. That sounds it, doesn't it? Chemistry that, that between there, two people. So. Mm. In the power hall. Power. Oh, I'm going back out of this door there. Okay, yeah. Back over there then, in that case. She's going to the power Fingers hall. Crossed. Oh, and that, um, do you remember that steam train I went on a few weeks ago? I that's, do. That's back in action today. You might Lovely. be in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just let, letting off a bit of steam there. So you're off to the power hall, and there's something to do... Did you say International Year of Chemistry, Em? Oh, well, he just showed me something on his uh, brochure there at reception. Oh, right. So it must be International Year of Chemistry. How exciting for it. I don't quite know what that would involve. Lots of chemistry. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I was never very good at chemistry at school. Whilst you're getting there, I'll just relive how we got to Castlefield. So, in days of yore, top posh reside where sounds like historic part of Spain. Well, posh people lived in a castle. Castile is a historic part of Spain. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Sheep live here and cows sit down when it does look like it's rain. Where do sheep live? They live in a field. Cows sit down in a field. Put them together. Castle field. Some say rival town to Mank. Liverpool. That's my Liverpool accent. That's all I'm doing. Uh, Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Um, This road, cowboy on down. Well, if you're a yee-haw cowboy, you're mosey on down. (laughs) Do you? So, mosey. M-O-S-I, Museum of Science and Industry on Liverpool Road in Castlefield. When you know it, it makes sense, doesn't it? It really does. Um, Carol's been on. She's been on the email. She says, oh, that is fantastic. Mary and Wendy there. Gosh, it's just brilliant how they work these difficult clues out. I've got a funny feeling Emma is going to do it this week. Sure of it now. Good luck. Lots of love. Carol. Thank you very much. Carol. Emma, have you in the power hall? Big uh, hall? Yes. And do you know what? As soon as I came in, I thought, good God, what is that awful smell? Oh, it reminds me of chemistry lessons at school. There was, <laughs> and it, there's a man here in front of me. With the, there's basically lots of chemistry experiments going on all around me, by the looks of it. There's a man with a huge dustbin with smoke coming out of it. What is coming out of that? Uh, we've got a mixture of monopropylene gly- glycol. Oh, yeah. Tray. I'm sorry, I can't even stand next to you to hear the rest so of your answer. Has, has he got a clue, though? We'll hear about more, it in a sec. More, impo- more importantly, has anyone got a clue? Has anyone expecting a visit from Radio Manchester? Marika probably is. Marika. Where is, she, where is Marika? Shout Marika, Em. Marika! Uh, Eureka Marika. That's good, isn't it? It's a science fair. I like that. Very good science name, that, isn't it? Marika. <laughs> You're getting out your phone. But was she expecting a visit, do you think, today, um, from Radio Manchester? I, I presume she was, if... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do we know if we're in the right place, Chris? Can, can you confirm? I'll oh, just have a look at producer be. Mary. Must she be. is looking at me. She's nodding. She's giving me the go-ahead to open clue. <laughs> Number three. Final clue, then. OK, if you... Okay. Do you want me to read it, Em? OK, well, I can get a volunteer to read it. Oh, you got it now. OK, brilliant. We have got it. Can we get you to read the clue instead for us? Perfect. Yes, here we yes. go. Here oh, we go. got great. a volunteer. Mmm, the smells are delightful. Here we really go. Really gassy. Mm. Number three. EastEnders, not the only one, degrees 60 plus 300. Longest ever queen wed him, so love till she was dead. I'll meet you here. Oh, no, you won't. That is not what you need. No blood, no bones, but beans and peas and lots of lovely sweet. Lovely sweet. What could it mean? I don't know. Don't look at me like I know the no answer because I've got no idea whatsoever. I think the Marika's guy... is at- on the phone getting very excited. I can hear in the background. Marika is. <laughs> Wow. There's a man blowing smoke rings out of a dustbin. This is the most surreal <laughs> thing I've ever seen. It's really, so- I've got to get a picture of this. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. I it's hope he's meant to be there. 
a bit worrying if he's not. Perfect smoke rings out of a dustbin. There we go. I'll find, I'll find out what that is. What's going on in a moment, Chris? Okay, I'll redo clue number three. EastEnders, not the only one. Degree sixty plus three hundred. Longest ever queen wed him. So loved till she was dead. I'll meet you here. That's meet. M-E-A-T. Uh-huh. You here. Oh, no, you won't. That is not what you need. No blood, no bones, but beans and peas and lots of lovely swede. What could it mean? Let's look at the first part. Now, this should tell us the place, the general area, where we need to send Emma Goswell next. Her final destination to complete a task. Now, Emma Goswell down mm. at Mosey. What's going on with these dustbins and smoke rings and oh, it's like, whiffy smells? It's like an amazing chemistry class and chemistry kit down here in the power hall this afternoon. There's a lady next to me with a huge bucket of white powder. And in front of me, there's about six kids, and they've all got little cups of this white powder. And then they're mixing it with water. And taking the powder out, and the powder's still dry. It's just, it's just amazing. It's, it's extraordinary. Just, it's, it's magic. It's, it's extraordinary. It's magic powder, isn't it? <laughs> it is a magic powder, yes. What is it? Uh, this powder here is a hydrophilic material. It just absorbs water. Same stuff that's uh, in nappies. And then this material over here is a hydrophobic material, so it just likes to stay away from... Uh, likes to stay away from more water completely. Right. <laughs> so good use of uh, chemistry there, exactly. So we can make nappies down here. Oh, yes, we're going to meet loads of people. But first of all, we did find um, Marika. Marika, tell us what's going on here today. We're celebrating the International Year of Chemistry at Mosey mm. today. So that's all this year. Loads of chemistry things going on all year. And we've got lo- tons and tons of hands-on chemistry experiments in our power hall. Mm. And best of all, we've got a flashbang show at 2 o'clock. So flashbang to- show? Yeah, oh, that sounds great. Down. It does sound great. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> Two o'clock, it's um, a show, and it's all the stuff that you can't do yourself. So all the kids mm. are doing all this right. stuff themselves. This mm. is all like all the safe stuff. But this, this show is going to be all the fire. This is, where you wa- this is what you always wanted in chemistry at school. You wanted a few explosions, didn't you? Closest I got <laughs> was setting my hair on fire in the Bunsen burner. Oh, but, Emma. Uh, I know. Too much cool, hairspray, too much backcombing. So, there is a really nasty smell, though. That is all part of chemistry, I guess, isn't it? What is the smell that's coming from that huge cannon over there? <laughs> it's just a smoke machine. We've got um, vortex cannons, so you fill a bin up with smoke, and then it, can you see it's got, like, a plastic end on it that mm. you tap, and it sends out these massive smoke rings. It's called a vortex cannon. They are making huge smoke rings. Oh, what's going on down here? This is good. This is a huge test tube with crystals at the bottom, mm. a sort of orangey colour in it. Just explain to me what's going on here, if you can. Don't worry, just live on Radio Manchester. Don't worry. You look like you know what you're doing there. This one? Yeah. This is just acids and alkalis. Oh. So um, we've added a bit of indicator to show the colour change and then some solid carbon dioxide. So it goes from a dark purple and then it goes to blue and then to green and then to yellow. And then we add a bit of acid and it goes... And it's gone pink. That's amazing. And obviously all the all the carbon dioxide is coming up in bubbles from the bottom. Yeah, exactly. All the bubbles are there. And they're dry, basically dry ice. It looks right. great. It smells blooming horrible, but it does look fantastic, doesn't it? You're getting a good reaction from the kids here today, though, aren't you? Yeah, the kids love it. The kids are all getting their hands dirty and getting stuck in. And just remind us what time it's on to them. Yeah, well, all this hands-on stuff for the kids is on until half past three, and that's in the Power Hall at the Museum of Science and Industry, and we've got a flashbang show at two o'clock, so come down. Quickly, get it for that, Chris. That does sound Do you know exciting. what? I might, if I've got time to nip down afterwards. Flashbang show sounds great. Yeah. OK, all right. Thank you very much, Emma Goswell, down at Mosey. And a big congratulations, actually, to Jill in Denton, who emailed in, Hi, Chris and Emma. There is an international year of chemistry celebration at Mosey. Well done, Jill. You were right. Thank you for that.